was one of the most documented love affairs of the 20th century. And now actress Elizabeth Taylor has released some of the love letters she exchanged with Hollywood legend Richard Burton during their 20-year-long tempestuous relationship. Mm -mm. I know. In one of the letters Richard wrote, the fundamental and unchangeable fact about us is that we totally misunderstand each other. He goes on to say, we operate on different wavelengths. You are as distant as Venus. <gasps> Now, there was clearly a huge amount of passionate play between these two. They married twice, but at the end of the day, when you're fundamentally so different, mm. can it work? You see, the thing is, in those days, I think you had those men, didn't you? You had the bad boys. You had Richard Burton and Peter O'Toole and Marlon Brando, Richard Harris. You know, they're all bad, mm. heavy-drinking boys. And I think they were, they were t very talented as well and very attractive. Tempestuous relationships. And I think, but I think not sustainable mm. in, in the real world. And I think if... if that's the difference. I think if women thought like men and thought in those terms and that you were looking at a man for sex or that kind of fantastic, exciting moment, but you couldn't then carry on because, A, you'd be worn out, uh, <laughs> like I know. Um, <laughs> It couldn't be part of your home life. Yeah, so I think I, you have I to... Think, if you want both, that's different. I think those relationships are exhausting. You do, you, you start, you know, they, they knock you for six. Yeah. They are not sustainable. And I'm kind of at a stage now where I'm single, but <coughs> I don't want a relationship like that, something that's fiery, temperature. I'm ready for a steady eddy now because I've done all that. And it'd be nice to meet someone who's just kind of a bit more stable now. So you've got the bad boys out of your system. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> you were so not convincing on that, was you? <laughs> We're going out Pete Doherty next week. I can <laughs> Boys are fabulous. Come on, let's be honest. Uh, yes, oh, passion, I mean, isn't that they're passion dangerous. Is they're damaging. Amazing. Yes. Don't you think? So it's okay. Don't you think that they're damaging? That it's, it's yes, but it's it's a short so term what's your thing. Like? Well, I, before my husband, <laughs> well, I'm going to take my glasses off for this. I did have a fabulous relationship with. Not that my husband isn't fabulous, but it's on a completely different level. Yeah. But I had the, a relationship just like Richard and this. I mean, it was just. Amazing, just unbelievable, but like you say, not sustainable. And, and, I, and I loved it, and we loved each other, and we kept splitting up and getting back together, and it dribbled on, and I wasn't going to use that word, was I? Anyway, <laughs> it, was, it was brilliant, but at the but end of the you, day, are you, are are you, you talking you? about just sex here? No, it was everything. We, we, oh. we actually shared a passion for the same things. Oh, right. um, but it at the end like of the day, a firework it was all fireworks, yeah. but uh, we knew, we both knew, that they it, would burn out. It was going to burn out. Out. And we did. We burnt out. And then I had a year on my own, and then I met Peter. And Peter was just what you're looking so for. So having... Mr. Perfect. So having sampled yeah. both, oh. Steady Eddie. where <laughs> would you recommend um, Claire to go? It depends where you are in your life. You've got to recognise the timing of things. Because yeah. that was... With this relationship I was, in, I was in, it was just the wrong time for us, really. We were, we were not ready to be steady. But I think it's fantastic you recognised you are. And he'll come along. The main thing to do is not to look. I'd completely given up on men when I met Peter. I was... I'd auditioned the world, and he wasn't out there. <laughs> and then just when I gave up... <laughs> Totally. But you see, I, th I, I, think, I think, in her own, I think Claire's a bit of a goer, so I think she'd miss that. <laughs> but, also, but I have to say, but I have to say, wouldn't we all? <laughs> Give him half the chance, I'd be there. <laughs> I'd be there, Claire, with you on the night out. Like a rat of a dream. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, what a